Uh, what is going on guys? My name is Real Derek and today I'm bringing another video. Today we're going to be discussing the new texture pack 4J Studios released on Wednesday, the plastic texture pack. And today I'm going to be walking around the world showing you the different types of varieties of new textures that blocks have in this texture pack. This is a ton of iron. This building is made out of iron and glowstone and grass here and there with animals. As you can see, villagers, pigs, and cows have been a little bit retextured just slightly. This is supposed to be another warp farm. Um, I like how simple it looks. It looks clean. I like the way the iron looks. It just looks simple, but it looks really, really nice. I like how it shines. And then over here, we have the testificate. The villager looks pretty cool. Here we have the watermelon farm. I like the new texture of the watermelons. Now we're going to go upstairs and look at some other farms, see what other textures we have. Here we have the oak sapling trees. Ton of saplings grew in here. It looks it looks decent. I'm not too crazy about the oak um, wood texture. And then here we just have an empty room. It's meant to have, be those other trees, the pine trees. Um, I just smacked the sheep for the heck of it. Here's wheat. I like wheat. I wasn't too crazy about the wheat in the mashup pack for Mass Effect. And then here we have the birch. I really like the birch saplings, the way they look, the way they they come out of the ground. Door's a little messy because I, I haven't messed with the doors lately after TU12 because the redstone update changed a bunch of the doors. Here's a sugar cane farm. It looks really cool. I like, I like how it really stands out. It's pretty neat. I like the little slabs too. Here we have... A sheep farm they look pretty much the same along with the same with the chickens here we have the pumpkin farm and the cocoa bean farm not too crazy about that oak wood texture it kinda looks like mud and dirt it doesn't look very clean like a lot of the other textures now here's a cool combination the stone bricks now that's a cobblestone with bricks it looks really neat I really like the cobblestone texture in this texture pack here we have some sheep and a pig and then here I'm just showcasing some houses in my subscriber world just to give you a better look at different textures how they clash with each other some people in this world are extremely creative and know what goes with what I mean they they built a ton of this stuff I really like that cobblestone texture I can't get over it I can't emphasize it enough it's really neat um, and then here you get different look that's the courthouse um, it looks like a mud hut I really like the way the library on the right looks because of the bricks the bricks really stand out and then here we have some obsidian and iron which is the bank that we have now that will soon be outdated because I'll be updating them and then here we have the sandstone house it looks really neat I really like sandstone this building's kind of odd uh, it's one of Bebo's creations it's kinda of cool um, and then the portal just looks amazing that purple texture if you didn't notice already it's obsidian here I'm gonna jump in here and I'm gonna show off the nether world I really like the nether textures that they have the nether brick looks really nice Again, I can't get over that cobblestone texture. I wish that was the default texture of cobble. I mean, I would use cobble all the time if cobble looked like that. And then here we have a cobblestone road. Um, and then the gas, they changed a little bit of the texture on the side. It's more just like a white blob. Um, the nether rack texture is okay. I think they could have done a little bit better. Um, let's see if there's not something down here. No, there's not. Let's just go back up. And then the glowstone has this five dotted die texture. It's kind of odd. Lava looks about the same, I think, I feel like. And then here's we have a zombie pigment. Magma cubes don't look too different either. Um, here, we're just going to fly around a little bit. Here, here's a little cobblestone tower. It looks, pre looks pretty cool. And here, we're going to follow this path and see where it takes us. I think this is... Uh, just the waffle irons huge nether um, fortress this facilities built it's kinda neat it looks neat with all the iron the glowstone and 
the stairs and the little, little bit of glass that it has it looks really cool I like the way it looks um, and then here what is this it's like a cake mushroom stew huh here we have a mushroom farm mushrooms look about the same they look less round though and then here's the apartment oh is that gas suffocating no it's not it, it looked red to me man how many floors does this guy have one two oh, forget it okay so now we're gonna go over here I'm just gonna hop out of here wow he has a facility a tree farm down here it's cool look at all the guests little zombie pigmen sitting on the ledge there's a lot of guests um bedrock texture looks pretty plain and simple I'm fine with that I don't I don't expect it to be something crazy out of this world or anything like that huh let's go it's for the portal there it is okay so let's go back to the overworld and show some other textures okay let's hop out of there and let's, I really like my tavern the nether brick tavern it looks really really neat I'm really happy with it and here's the game center with the Xbox 360 logo I really like the way it looks this guy did a really really good job on his house oh look who hopped online I really like the way it looks and whoever made that farm good job you too and you too whoever built that house I like the way it looks it's simple but it's neat now let's go on down here oh wait no I gotta show you guys the railway here's the subway that the server kinda runs on to kinda of get across the map a little bit faster and quicker let's go up here to the pitch as they call it now I really like the, the grass texture it's really really simple it's just one shade and it actually looks like it's a soccer field. The goal, I'm not too crazy about the spiderweb texture. Um, I'm kind of digging the snow texture. I don't know if you guys know who that is. Some of you might. Um, and then here's my house on the left. That's pretty cool. Here's some jungles in the world. I, I built this on my own. Like It's completely designed by my liking. Still need to add a few things, but it looks pretty cool. Now let's look at some of the mobs. We got some slimes, some spiders. Spiders look very similar along with the slimes. Endermen look about the same. They have a little bit less texture to them. Cave spiders look about the same. Same with silverfish. Ocelots look a little bit cleaner and crisp. Squids look cleaner to me along with the wolf and the mushrooms. So there you guys have it. I'll give this texture pack a 7 out of 10. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.